اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلاله الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء السراج المنير أما بعد أحب في الله In this world will come across everything You will be a student of knowledge You will be learning so many things Evil, good, bad That's the way forward But the best knowledge is the knowledge of Knowing Allah, Rabbul Izzah And knowing the religion of Allah, Rabbul Izzah The correct manhaj In that way you will be saved But if you don't know your religion then you are doomed if you don't know who created you you are doomed muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam says inna bayna rajul wa bayna shirk wa kufr tarak as-salah between a man and kufr and shirk is leaving salah but today you will see people they pray salah but they are still engaging in kufr you may ask yourself how is this how is this how is this happening Wallah is very sad what I've come across. I've come across a lot of evil. So much evil. It's just uh, Alhamdulillah Allah has guided me. And Allah has made it easy for me to understand. Alhamdulillah. Thumma alhamdulillah. Recently there was a brother who he came to me. He, was, he had pr- proposed to a woman. And then that, that woman he was talking to for so long. Which was haram. And then what happened is that the, the day of marriage and everything, the marriage fell short. He could not be able to get married to her. And the mother says, no, we cannot, you cannot marry my daughter because we've spoken to Qari Saab. We've given your name and the time of birth and the date of birth to Qari Saab. And the Qari Saab says, no, they're not compatible. And look how evil it is. But the brother was anxious to know him he was not practicing alhamdulillah he came to me and i've explained everything to him everything makes made sense to him and then i read on him i discovered he has sihr and then i discovered there's sihr in their house through the recitation and everything when and checked the house everything we've discovered things in the house which are destroyed it but he was still anxious and looking who is behind the stuff And he comes and tells me, in the springtime, no, in the wintertime when the, day, the trees are dry. One day my father came in, because his father doesn't live with him. He said, when my father came in, when he was coming th- towards the house, he paused and looked at one of the trees. And he saw something has been tied there. And he called me and I thought, my father is going to shout at me or something like that. And he came out. When he came out, your father, the father told him, what's this? What is this? And he says, this is black magic. Do you see who's doing it? And they took it and they destroyed it and threw it away. And times passed by, him now discovering more stuff in the house. More, more stuff. And he comes and tells me that his father said to him, his father doesn't live with them anymore. He said, Your sister is evil. Your sister is evil. And imagine his three brothers and one sister. Ask Allah to protect my kids and the kids of the believing men and women from any type of shirk. Now, he says, your, fa- your sister is evil. Your sister is evil. And he didn't pay attention. But now he started paying attention. He found out things in the house which is not normal. Absolutely not normal. And now it leads direct to the sister. That the sister is the one who's doing the sihr in the house. They found a key, two keys, tied with a knot, hanging somewhere. And one of the keys is broken. Can you see? Can you see? This is sihr mu'allaq. This is sihr mu'allaq. Notes, and then it was hanging somewhere. And... He asked, she, oh, the sihr, the teas with the knots. That's what she said. And I told him, that is directly black magic. Now he is struggling 
with marriage and the sister she's the one who's doing the sir and she told him that marrying that woman you dodge the bullet if you could have married the bullet could have hit you and he's still wondering what what does that mean i told him i don't know myself look two keys one key is short and one key is long this is called sihr al-maftah black magic of keys black magic of keys now what are the reason a sihr in allah sabut al-sihr in allah sabut al-sihr in allah what are the main reasons for this this is a totally another subject but keys have got one meaning to it opening and closing it could be to close the rizq of somebody or could be to close to open the rizq of somebody allah knows best but at this moment in time that brother he's struggling with marriage that means is to close his marriage he can't get married this is number one sir number two is this container inside it there's brown powder he says she uses this container every time to burn rice she puts rice in there and the rice just burns and the smoke goes around the house and he says what is it sheikh sheikh i told him this the rice is meant for sacrificing for the devil how can you put rice there and burn it sacrificing for the devil and we got one more step to go another one is this he discovered in the house in the room of the sister this is a shoe horse shoe horse normally they use for protection for protecting oneself for protecting a lot of things or a lot of things into it allah knows best look look the nails as well shoe horse with the nails this i'm doing these videos to educate everybody so you should be aware of these type of black magic we ask allah to protect us the shoe horse the teen the teen for is for her to use for her own rituals the shoe horse was there to protect i don't know to protect the what and the keys was there was a main sihr everything here is together and allah knows best now this person prays this individual prays five times five times salah now look she's falling short into this she's doing sihr on her own family she's doing sihr on her own family is she married no she's not married she's single her brother is single the other brother is suffering with sihr another brother is suffering with sihr the list goes on this is very very dangerous to have an enemy within you're living with He tell told me I need to leave the house. I told him no, do not leave the house. Put cameras in everywhere. Put cameras in your house and watch the movement of your sister. And that's it. And if she's willing to stop what she's doing, fair enough. If she's not, then do something about it. Move out or whatever. Because this person is in fully engaged in sihr when this shoe horse was removed by the brother she became so angry very very angry and decided to cut the ties of the kinship with the brother not to speak to and i told him she's going to do more she's going to do damage because this person is engaged in sihr a sihr ان الله سبحانه وتعالى السحر ان الله سبحانه وتعالى احب في الله يا اخواني ام دوين ذس فيديو اي ريبيت اجين تو ادكيت ذا امه يو ستي اواي فروم ذيس ثينجز لايك ذيس يو كان نوت بي براين اند انجيج ان ذيس يو كان نوت يو كان نوت وات نيدز تو دو از يو نيد تو نو هو يور لورد الله رب العزه اند كوريكت يور توحيد الله ويل بروتكت يو ويل بروفايد فور يو ماريج جوبز ايفريثينج هي ان الله هو الغني رزاق وهاب رحيم غفور حميد عظيم the list goes on his name 99 names so one of his two names or three names is الغني he's rich he's got everything that belongs to him 
الرزاق هي بروفايز الوهاب هي بيستوز on the people so إن شاء الله ask الله وإذا سألت فاسأل الله if you ask ask الله رب العزة no no devil This is a video of a dangerous sister who lives with brothers Abu Yahya from the Ruqya talk wa akhiru da'wana wa salamun ala al-mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq